Hi, I'm Wolfgang, and this is my monthly inspirational video. I am shocked at how fast a new month has arrived, especially as it catches me off guard, and I quickly have to think of a topic to talk about, and of course give you real food for thought. I feel that with my constant referrals to time, it's about time I spoke about time and age. The inspiration for this month's video comes from a saying by a highly insightful and outspoken comedian, George Carlin, who said, Life's journey is not to arrive at the grave safely in a well-preserved body, but rather to skid in sideways, totally used up and worn out, shouting, man, what a ride. I have to concur. And as a tribute to George Carlin, and in his words, enjoy the ride, there is no return ticket. This monthly inspirational video is basically a transcript of his routine on old age. I cannot improve on it or do justice on his brilliant presentation of it, but I can share these incredible words from a very wise man. Do you realize that the only time in our lives when we like to get old is when we're kids? If you're less than 10 years old, you're so excited about aging that you think in fractions. How old are you? I'm four and a half. You're never 36 and a half. You're four and a half going on five. That's the key. You get into your teens, now they can't hold you back. You jump to the next number or even a few years ahead. How old are you? I'm going to be 16. You could be 13, but hey, you're going to be 16. And then the greatest day of your life, you become 21. Even the words sound like a ceremony. You become 21. Yes! But then you turn 30. Ooh, what happened there? Makes you sound like bad milk. He turned. We had to throw him out. There's no fun now. You're just a sour dumpling. What's wrong? What's changed? You become 21. You turn 30. Then you're pushing 40. Whoa! Put on the brakes. It's all slipped away. Before you know it, you reach 50. And your dreams are gone. But wait, you make it to 60. You didn't think you would. So you become 21, turn 30, push 40, reach 50 and make it to 60. You've built up so much speed that you hit 70. After that, it's day by day. It's a day by day thing. You hit Wednesday. You get into your 80s and every day is a complete cycle. You eat lunch, you reach 4.30. You reach bedtime and it doesn't end there. Into the 90s, you start going backwards. I was just 92. <laughs> then a strange thing happens. If you make it over 100, you become a little kid again. I'm a hundred and a half. May you all make it to a healthy hundred and a half. And to carry on with George Carlin's words, how to stay young. A few pointers. Number one, throw out non-essential numbers. This includes age, weight, and height. Let the doctors worry about them. That is why you pay them. Two, keep only cheerful friends. The grouches, they pull you down. Three, keep learning. Learn more about the computer, crafts, gardening, whatever. It can even be a ham radio. Never let the brain idle. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. And the devil's family's name is Alzheimer's. Four, enjoy the simple things. And fifth, Laugh often, long and loud. Laugh until you gasp for breath. Six, the tears happen. Endure grief and move on. The only person who is with us our entire life is ourselves. Be alive while you are alive. Seven, surround yourself with what you love. Whether it's family, pets, keepsakes, music, plants, hobbies, whatever. Your home is your refuge. Eight, cherish your health. If it is good, preserve it. If it is unstable, improve it. If it is beyond what you can improve, get help. Nine, don't take a guilt trips. Take a trip to the mall, even to the next country, to a foreign country, but not where there is guilt. Ten, tell the people you love that you love them at every single opportunity. Thank you, George Carlin. Are those incredible words? Pretty much a summary of what I've been saying for many years in all my quick tip videos. Live in the moment. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my website, www 
positivepeople.com without the E, or the free quotes for an entire month, please do so and see what you think. A while back, while updating part of my third year of subscriber quotes, I found this incredibly simple yet powerful insight. Nothing in this world can trouble you more than your own thoughts. Wow! Isn't that incredible? This question has been playing on my mind for days. Now, I tend to be a person that becomes upset rather quickly by greedy, unethical and dishonest people, especially corrupt politicians. I'm sure you can uh, relate to that. Even though I preach love and really try to practice what I preach, I too am human. And there are days where I really question the point of it all and why spineless psychophants get to enjoy the privilege of this great earth that we live on. Then I hear George Carlin talk about age and life. Plus, I get to be exposed to this incredible quote. Nothing in this world can trouble you more than your own thoughts. It's like a slap in the face to remind me once again that everything in life is purely dependent on me. I control my thoughts and actions. My choices are made by my thoughts and feelings. If I am annoyed, irritated, troubled, it is I that has caused this. Sadly, it isn't the corrupt politician or my mother-in-law. It is I. Once we all realize this and take responsibility for our own thoughts, only then can we actually practice this month's message on time and age. You see, it once again boils down to responsibility for the self. You cannot blame everyone around you for your current circumstances, like most people in the world are doing today. But whether you like what I say or not, the fact is that no one else except you is responsible for your thoughts and actions. Hey, I don't like accepting that fact either. It's much easier blaming someone else. But truth remains truth. And you cannot change that. Even if one million people believe in a lie, it still doesn't change the lie and the truth will always be there. So realize that you are responsible for your life. Hence, you are responsible for every single day of it. When something annoys you, stop. Take charge of your mind and focus on the positive and on fun. Is it really worth letting some other ass ruin your day? No, I don't think so. And as we carry on through life, I want you to start living in the now. Start appreciating the age that you are at. Start realizing that you cannot change the past and start realizing that your future happiness is totally dependent on your own thoughts. Finally, having stressed your own thoughts so much, I thought I would end off with a linguistically profound statement that one only can say in English. Life can only be understood through tough, thorough thought though. I'll see you next time. Cheers.